Okay, sorry about that cutoff there, but as I was saying, uh, the, the as sound travels through the body or through the tissues, the tissues oscillate or vibrate, and they give off heat. And and we're not, you know, ultrasound is restricted to you can't increase the temperature of the 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 tissue more than two degrees. Well, that's exactly what's happening here, except it's it's in a different way in that those bubbles are are shrinking, contracting, expanding, contracting, expanding, contracting, expanding. They're giving off that small amount of energy. It's transmitted from the fundamental frequency to the harmonic frequency. So as that sound reflects off, that harmonic frequency jumps back on and we have double the frequency coming back. Simple as that. It's it's you know, you just have to kind of grab it and go with it. And and I'll have a you know We'll go over this in class again. I'll have many more diagrams, if you will. But if you just understand what's happening, uh, it's very simple. Uh, so now we're going to talk about something uh, that sort of is based around how we know how much harmonics is going to uh, be created. Uh, it's called the mechanical index, or the MI. Uh, it is the amount of contrast harmonics produced. It is an estimated number. You know, this is this is broken down ridiculously extensive into this book, but I'm going to teach you that just the way the registry, you know, is also going to ask you. You know what mechanical index is. It's the amount of contrast harmonics produced. Har the amount of contrast harmonics produced. It is an estimated number. Uh, it depends on the frequency of the transmitted sound and the pressure of the sound wave. Those are definitions, okay? So th this is kind of a rule thing here or a concept that we're going to have to grasp and you're going to have to know it and we'll sort of explain it. Lower MI or a lower amount of contrast or contrast harmonics produced you have less pressure and higher frequency. A higher MI or more contrast harmonics produced, you will have more pressure, a lower frequency. I don't care how you have to know it, how you have to figure it out, just stick that in your brain. Okay, It's okay to just, because that's the rule, it's okay to just memorize this although I never suggest memorizing things but that is a rule to follow so that if I ask you you know which will give you a lower MI higher frequency or lower frequency you're gonna say higher frequency if I say which gonna give you a higher MI more pressure less pressure you're gonna say more pressure I want you to kinda of understand that so why are micro bubbles strong scatterers of waves okay uh, a vibrating structure can produce a large oscillation. Now we just talked about all of this. Um, or resonance from a small driving force. A child, for example, a child on a swing can reach great heights by kicking her heels at the appropriate time. Okay, um, We've all seen it. You get started, you kick your leg, you start going with the flow, next thing you know you're, you're damn near going all the way around on the swing. Um, micro bubbles the size of red blood cells resonate from sound in the 2 to 4 megahertz range um, right in the middle of the frequency used in diagnostic ultrasound so it doesn't take a whole lot to get these things uh, resonating or moving um, let's understand the so let's that's why we introduced MI earlier mechanical index let's understand the relationship between harmonic creation and MI and figure 17 6 uh, let me turn the page here basically just says uh, the mechanical index determines the behavior of micro bubbles if if I have a lower MI I have less pressure higher frequency if I have a higher MI I have more pressure lower frequency 
You're not going to have 8 million questions on the registry about this. You might have a few. You're going to have a few. But as long as you understand the rules and, and learn these numbers, you will be fine. So let's break it down even further now that we've added mechanical index into the mix of all this. Again, if we have a low MI or less than 0 0.1, we have linear behavior. And we said earlier that lower MIs are not going to give us harmonics. Um, how do I know that? Because I see that linear behavior. Where do harmonics come from? Nonlinear behavior. If I have a higher or that intermediate MI, that 0 0.1 to 1.0, I have a range now, I have nonlinear behavior and I'm going to have some harmonics. If I have nonlinear behavior, I have to have harmonics, correct? That's why we learned that. Now, if I have very high, a very high MI, forgot to put the MI there, or greater than 1.0, uh, then I have bubble disruption. I don't just have a little bit of expand, contract, expand, contract. They start going crazy. I have extreme nonlinear behavior. Therefore, I'm going to have very strong harmonic creation. Uh, and again, therefore, low MI, the bubbles expand and contract evenly. Okay, it's a, it's a, it's an even thing. I shrink to a size, I expand to a size. I shrink to a size, I expand to a size evenly. Uh, a higher or intermediate MI is the start of nonlinear behavior. It's that irregular expand and contract. I might expand real small and then, I'm sorry, I might contract real small, expand a little bit, contract again a little bit, expand really big. It's that uneven expand and contract. That's, that's irregular. That's nonlinear behavior. So I am going to have harmonics. If I, however, if I have a very high MI, those bubbles will expand and break apart. That is not linear, okay? Non-linear, that's not even, is it? This disruption is extreme. Very strong harmonic reflectors. So remember, the number predicts the harmonic. So if I tell you, hey, I have a high MI, you need to know what's happening. Or if I tell you, hey, I have uh, bubble disruption uh, in the form of break, expanding and breaking apart, you're going to say, well, you must have a very high MI. It's easy to understand. Therefore, a low MI or, ooh, that's not right, another typo. A low MI less than, sorry about that, 0 0.1 equals no harmonics. A higher MI or that intermediate 0 0.1 to 1.0, I have strong harmonics. And the highest MI greater than 1.0, I have the strongest harmonics. Uh, I'm going to stop right there and continue this in a part three, I think it is. Uh, talk to you soon.